Welcome to Fibre Tech, as always, I'm Nick. Um, today is going to be a bit of a rebuild of an old salvaged PC I got. So we're going to be putting a really nice CPU cooler, a, new, a couple of new fans, and of course, something that's very important for the little thing we'll show inside. So this is a pretty, going to be a pretty short intro, because I want to get, in, get the camera in to show off what I actually managed to dumpster dive for, basically, um, and what I've actually put inside it with the parts that I have lying around my room. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to bring the camera in, nice up, nice and close, and so to give you guys a tour of what I've been able to scavenge and, so, and quite nicely scavenge, and some of the parts that I'm going to be putting into it, um, and some of the, maybe some of the justification behind these parts. So without further ado, let's get on with it. So what we have here is a IBM System X 3200 Mark II. So I'll clear away some of the parts that we have here. Um, I will get over to this side. So. Sorry about that. Um, so some of the parts we have, I don't know if we can see that, um, is down here, the little CPU cooler, is a Noctua NHU-9B, uh, special edition, second edition, whatever you want to call it. Um, pretty much an overkill for a 775 socket. Um, it does come with all the mounting hardware for 775, thankfully enough, as it says on the box, um, which is really, really nice. So yeah, the main reason why I went for this probably humongous cooler is the fact that it means I pretty much don't have to worry about fans. Uh, it means I can run the fans really quiet with it. The fans themselves are quiet because this thing is not water-cooled like my big rig, Blood. Um, my really big, kind of, really expensive PC. Um, so anyway, that's CPU cooler. Um, next is the fans that we're putting in. Um, so this has, so this case has at the front here a single uh, 80 millimeter fan at the front here which we'll be putting in, and there'll be two 120s, um, one for the rear of the case, and one that will actually be replacing the power supply one for, but we'll get, we'll get to that when we get inside. Um, as you may have noticed, there is no drive uh, caddies in this. I do have them in order. I probably won't do a video about them unless there's enough requests to do so, um, but there's four little drive caddies in the front here for three and a half inch drives. Um, 80 millimeter fan at the front, pretty standard thoroughfare. Um, up here, you can just see there's just pretty much standard two, standard uh, two five and a quarter, one three and a half, uh, which internally I'm using for my primary boot device. A couple of USB two, power button, and some indicator LEDs. Pretty standard thoroughfare. So uh, you may have noticed there's no um, there's no uh, extra piece, there's no side piece on this. I wasn't able to get salvage that in time uh, because pretty much I was grabbing this out of the dumpster as they were picking up the dumpster and putting it into the trash can into the dumps into the truck so I wasn't able to salvage this piece in time but luckily enough I was able to get the main door which is awesome so as we get inside I'll show you what we have I will quickly reposition the camera um, I will quickly reposition the camera over here so you got so everyone can see a bit easier what's actually inside this sucker so what you'll see for the time being um, is not that impressive right now. Standard three and a half inch hard drive up here. That's a SATA. Um, I've got an AC Wi-Fi card in here, um, which is just for connecting to my internet as I am here. Um, my very dodgy CPU solution for the time being, my cooler solution, which is actually a passively cooled CPU cooler with a little 80 millimeter fan that I had scavenged around that sort of sits on it to keep it some airflow. Uh, what's in here right now is, <laughs> as you said, Dodgy. Um, what the CPU in here right now is a, if I remember rightly, Intel Core 2 Duo E6550, something rather like that. I'll put it as an annotation in the bottom here somewhere uh, when I actually remember what the hell it is. Um, so this rear 120 fan will be coming out um, and being and will be replaced with one of the Noctua Redux fans, which are really nice fans. Um, so yeah, the one the 120 mil fan that's inside this cheap power supply. It does not like being run upside down, it makes a horrible grinding noise. Um, so it will be getting replaced with, again, the other 120 mil fan that I have here. Uh, that's why there's two of them. Um, so this 80 mil fan is for this one, and of course the CPU cooler comes with its own fans, which will be in here. So, um, as I said, an E6550, I think. Um, again, I'll annotate it at the bottom of the screen uh, if what it actually is. Uh, there's eight gigs of DDR2 um, at running at eight, uh, 800 megahertz, so pretty much highest bandwidth and most amount of RAM I can possibly fit in this with this CPU. 
As you can see, everything else is unpopulated in the bottom of the, the rig. Um, sorry. So as you can see, everything else is unpopulated except for this little treasure in here. Um, this is an LSI raid card, um, came with the case, which is awesome. Uh, it supports basically uh, one RAID 0, 1, 5, and 10, and just a bunch of drives, or JBOD. Um, so nice little card in there. That will be running, once I get these trays, that will exclusively be running the four drives here, which is why we have the mini SAS to SATA cable. Um, so we can run the SAS, the, we can basically break out this little SAS connector here into four SATA connectors and run that for the four, hang on. I just want to come out again for the four drives that fit in this caddy here. Um, I love working with server cases. Um, so that's pretty much what is inside this puppy right now. Um, oh yeah, the CD-ROM drive isn't actually plugged into anything. It is purely there as to stop noise, um, pretty much. So that's pretty much all that's in there. Um, I think that is it. Yes. So I'll put the camera up. We'll come back once I have installed everything and I'll mention any difficulties or troubles I had putting stuff in or replacing things. So, that's it. Alright, we're back. It is all in. Um, damn, this thing's quiet. Um, I know Noctua fans are meant to be quiet and all, but I'm actually kind of impressed. Um, these Redux fans are basically Noctua's basically bargain basement. They're their cheapest fans that you can buy from Noctua. Um, genuine Noctua, of course. Um, I haven't actually done temps or anything yet. Um, I'm still kind of putting it all back together, but this thing is really... You're hearing the hard drive right now. Yeah, that's just the hard drive. Nothing else. I can't hear any of the fans. Or the fans are making any noise. This thing is deathly quiet. Um, now, some people have probably will ask questions about replacing um, fans in power supplies, I strongly don't recommend it, and if you kill yourself or injure yourself, I am not responsible for it. Um, little disclaimer there. Um, because there are some really big capacitors in power supplies that will kill you if you touch them wrong. Um, so, that's just something to take note of. Um, it's doable, don't get me wrong, um, but you're not going to have speed control with these ones unless you get a newer power supply or a bit more expensive power supply. But, that was one of the biggest, noisiest components because I have the fan down here. Um, when this fan is the right way up, like this way, it makes no noise because all the bearings and everything are in compression. Um, but when this fan goes upside down, the bearings are in tension and it makes this horrible grinding noise, um, which is not good. So, yeah. Um, so now, really nice Noctua fan inside this. Noctua fans throughout this case. Um, which makes, as I said, makes this thing really, really, really quiet. Um, so all there is to put in this now is the hard drives, um, which I will be doing soon, uh, once I get the hard drive bays in this. But I think that's it. Um, as usual, any comments, questions, leave it in the comments below. Uh, as always, I'm Fibotech, and thanks for watching.